Thanks for all the feedback we've been getting about our worksheet tips. Today's tip shows you how to combine data from multiple form fields into one. It's our first time using a true worksheet-based function, but this one is fairly simple. You don't need Excel for these, but for those of you that do know Excel, they are the same as the Excel functions. A worksheet function isn't a mathematical formula like an equation. Instead, it's more like a UAD form field, where you have to use the right terms, abbreviations, and punctuation all in the correct order. Some functions are complicated, but most are easy. Usually, it's just a matter of knowing what goes where. Our example today will use a very simple function type called concatenation. You start a function with the equal sign, like usual, and follow it with the function, in this case, concatenate. Then, within parentheses, separate your items with commas. An extra rule to know here is that functions will usually point to a cell. If you want to separate your items with text characters like a comma, slash, dash, or even a space, you put that item in quotation marks to indicate to the function that it's raw text to be entered. Here's a simple example of stringing together two cells separated by a slash. Let's say that you're on page one of the 1004 and you want to take the data from the porch field, combine it with the data from the patio deck field, and put them all together in the grid in the combined field here. First, bring down all the data you're going to use, in this case, the two fields. Now you can build your function. You start your function with equals concatenate. Then, within parentheses, list the items to be combined. Separate them with commas. Start with the porch, followed by the patio deck. Don't forget to close the parentheses. Notice, though, that the words have no separation between them. I'll add a textual slash in between them, using the quotes to indicate it's a textual character to be used, not a cell. There are several other ways to get this particular job done, and concatenation is only one of them, but since the next few tips will use worksheet functions, concatenating these fields makes an easy first example. Remember how concatenate works, because we'll use it several more times, especially in conjunction with other worksheet functions. Take some time to set up concatenation functions for your own workflow, and we'll see you next week for another easy but powerful worksheet function.